Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping coming back at you again. Now, I've had a couple requests for a new instructional video. So today, the instructional video is going to be removal of raccoon furs from the boards. So, I'm going to get started here and I will walk you guys through the process of how it's done. Okay, this fur right here, your furs should be hung up to dry for four or five days, okay? Four or five days is the proper length of time in which to dry a fur. Ideally, you want your furs to dry at 50 to 55 degrees. That is the ideal temperature. So, 55 degrees, four days up on the rafter hanging okay that's what this one's done uh, when you get it done it should when it is dry it should have the sound of a paper bag okay and you always want to wear your gloves <coughs> I know a lot of people don't but <coughs> the last thing you want to do is get some kind of disease from your hobby that you enjoy so much, right? So, I will show you, okay? When you know your fur is dry, it will sound like a paper bag when you flex it, okay? First step, removal of the belly board. Basic, plain, and simple, and easy, all right? Belly board slides straight out. And hear the crinkle, guys? That's what you're going for right there. You're going for that. You're going for that crinkle. When you hear that crinkle, you guys know that it's dry, okay? Now, I staple mine to the boards, okay? And... <laughs> I can get a better visual like this, but you don't want to see me. You want to see the process and how it's done. So, I'm going to get you the best visual I can here. And see if I can get you guys the close-ups that most other videos will not show. This is how it goes. You will locate your staples. And I'm going to let you get the best visual I can here. And you're going to get a mini screwdriver. You're going to get, oh, uh, you can use a knife if you need to. You know, anything you can do, get it under there. You're going to get underneath each of your, each of your staples and start plucking them out of there. You want to make sure that you get as many staples out as you possibly can. Some of them are hard. When the fur rolls over in the corners, it is tough, tough, tough to get those out of there. So, some might be left in, but you want to prevent as many as you can from being left in. Fur graders, as they're grading out your furs, really don't appreciate it when they get stuck with staples. They don't like that one bit. So, you want to impress your graders at the auction. You want to make sure that you want to make sure that you get all the staples out of there or to the best of your ability, okay? You're going to flip your fur over and you can see where I've got my staples ran right there. Okay? I'm going to pull those staples up out of there. One at a time. Pull them. Pull them, pull them. And I can tell you what, it's a whole lot easier tacking them out on the boards than it is getting the staples out. But... 
It's all part of the process. Pop your staples one at a time. Pull them out. And run the circle. And start pop, pop, popping your staples out. Once you get once you get a few furs down, it's relatively easy to go down the rows and to start pulling staples. It becomes habit. Grab a staple, you know, tuck the screwdriver underneath, grab your staple with your thumb, pull it out, discard your staple, on to the next. I can tell you what, this springtime, it's going to be an awful lot of fun picking up all the staple mess all over the floors. But, hey, that's why they got brooms. So just run each of them all the way around. Oh, I think I missed one back in here. Good, good, good. Okay. Ah, see, I did miss one. Right there. Okay, should be freed up off the board. Did I miss another? Yes, I did. Missed one right there. Okay, should be freed up off the board. All right, you got staples in a straight line across your back typically when I do mine three and three and spaced out across the tail to the end we don't want any shrinkage or any shrinkage coming back this way you want to have a nice straight line across when your greater grades they go from the tip of the nose all the way down to the shortest most point up in here so you want to make sure you nicely stretch it out and make a nice even across for your best grade okay now that we got all the staples out double check your other side your other side should be freed up and it is you should be able to slide your board out you can carefully grab right here if you need to or you can grab off the nose right there okay take it and simply slide your board out okay there you have it there is your dried you should be able to hold your fur straight out if it is dry enough you should be able to hold it out and it should stick out like a piece of cardboard guys that is your dried fur here that is the sign of final product now when the graders grade they will come through they will flip open your flaps they will inspect the back hair right here take their measurements and grade them so that is it that is your final product ready for hanger bagging and tagging 
and fur market. So, if you have any comments or questions that I did not answer for you, go ahead and post them in the box below. Again, my name is Dan Edwards, Mad Nasty Trapping. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in. Many, many more instructional videos to come. Thanks, everybody.